Hello everyone and welcome back to another Python quick tips video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the for else statement. Now, essentially the way a for else works is you have a for loop and then directly underneath that in the same indentation level, you have an else statement. But what does this else statement do? Well, I'm going to illustrate that with two basic examples here. So essentially the way this else statement works is it checks if you broke out of the loop using the break keyword or if you reached the end of the loop. Now that's extremely useful because sometimes you exit the loop and you want to know how you exited. Did you break? from finding some kind of statement or seeing that break keyword? Or did you actually go through the entire loop uh, and you ended because there was no more elements or no more numbers to loop through? So there's two, way you can, two ways you can end the loop by breaking or just by running out of things to look for. So essentially the way this else statement works is if you break out of the loop, it will not run. But if you run through the entire loop and it does not witness this break statement, then it will run whatever is in this else statement. So this basic example you hear, I have a list called my list. You can see the elements that are inside of it. And we have this look for, which is a number that we are going to be looking for. So essentially what my for loop is doing here is looking for this number. And if it finds it, what it's going to do is say found whatever the number is and then break. So if it finds it is not going to print, did not find, but if for some reason we loop through this entire loop, we cannot find this number, which is 45, then it's going to print out did not find. So let me run this here. And you can see that if I scroll up a bit, we get did not find 45 as 45 is not in this list. Now, if I put 100 here, then you'll see that we got found 100 and this else statement did not run. So only runs when we loop through the list and we exit it without this break keyword. So essentially we finish all of the possible things we could loop for and we didn't break. All right, so now I'm going to go to example two. So let's just delete uh, this for now. So example two um, is a little bit more complicated, but shows another way that you can actually use this. So what this does is essentially look for duplicate elements in two lists. So what we're doing is looping through list one, which is this list here. Then we're looping through list two. And then what we're going to do is check whether or not an element exists in both list one and list two. And if it does not, we're going to say it's only in list one. Otherwise, we're going to say it's in both lists. So let me just run this and show you what I mean, and then I'll walk through it slowly. So essentially what happens here is we get a bunch of print statements that says one is only in list one, two is in both lists and so on. You can see how that works. Now, the reason that this works is again, because we have this for else statement. And again, this is indented inside of another for loop. So every time that this for loop runs, if we broke out, we'll just print this and we won't do this else statement. But if we didn't break, which means we didn't find, for example, one, or we didn't find three or six or whatever element in list two, then we're going to print X is only in list one, which is going to be that element that we were looping through. So anyways, that is how the for else statement works. Pretty straightforward. Essentially, like I've said a hundred times now, if you break, this else does not run. If you get through the loop and you do not break out of it using the break keyword, this else statement will run. Super useful and can definitely save you a lot of time and make you avoid having to use some like exterior lists and stuff like that that you might use before. That has been Python quick tips for today. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure you leave a like and let me know what you want to see in future videos.